Okay, Ernie, looking at the numbers for the Mid-America region, what are we seeing in terms of growth over the next few months? You know, Cindy, our survey of supply managers, that's a survey of uh, supply managers in nine states, the Mid-American region stretching from North Dakota and Minnesota in the north to Oklahoma and Arkansas in the south. The May number was down from April and the overall index is trending downward but it's still in the positive range. So what we're expecting, what I'm expecting for the region, the nine state region, is pretty good growth looking ahead again three to six months but when you compare it to last year at the same time growth is going to be down but still positive so it was it was an okay report not as good as I'd like to see and the national numbers are looking even weaker and we'll see those uh, this morning as well. What are we seeing in terms of, of growth over the next several months? I mm -hmm. mean looking at your chart mm -hmm. what is that indicating for us? Well, what we're seeing, uh, Cindy, is the stronger U.S. dollar has grown by 5% since January, and that's significant. The growth is pushing, pushing up, pushing uh, as, as restrained uh, price declines, in fact, has pushed up commodity, agricultural commodity prices, energy commodity prices, and of course, that's slowing down growth, partic particularly for this part of the country that depends heavily on a weak dollar. And again, the dollar has come up in value, and as you see by, this, by our graph here, things are looking at least trending downward a bit, but still in the positive range. Again, 50 is growth neutral, and the index is well above growth neutral in the 55 to 56 range. The U.S. number, on the other hand, is around the 50, around growth neutral 50. And I think there's some real issues with the national survey. I don't want to criticize them, but I think our survey is hitting the mark more closely in the sense that I think we're uh, we're correct in, in saying that th we're going to see growth in the months ahead. In terms of jobs, what are we seeing? Job growth is looking pretty good, Cindy, but even there it's trending downward. We're likely to see growth uh, in the one below 1% 1 as annualized. We need to see growth between 1 and 2%. When we ask about wage growth, how much wages, how much do you expect your income to grow next year? 2%. Now that doesn't sound like much, but that's up from 1.5% in February when we asked this same question. So all in all, wage growth is looking better. Job growth is not quite as strong as we'd like to see. The national numbers that come out this Friday will likewise show only moderate, modest growth and the unemployment rate still stuck well above 7%. What about else about the Mid-America region do you notice? The biggest thing to come out of our May survey is that so that price pressures are coming down. That's wholesale price pressures, inflationary pressures, and what the heck does that mean for the consumers out there and for businesses as well is the Fed, Federal Reserve can continue, continue to keep their foot on the accelerator, meaning they will continue, continue to buy bonds, and that what that does is tend to keep interest rates low, and there's no real fear of inflationary pressures, and our surveys indicate that as well. So we're, uh, those who've been real concerned about rising in, uh, interest rates, they are going to rise a bit in the months ahead, but not, uh, not significantly. So those who are looking at mortgage rates uh, remaining low, they're going to remain fairly low, but up a bit. What about the confidence level for the region? Confidence was up, Cindy. It's looking pretty good. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, with the housing sector continuing to do well in terms of prices now, not so much in terms of jobs, but housing is looking much stronger in the region, in the nation, but if you look at jobs, not as much there. And we ask about the, the federal spending sequestration, it continues to be a non-event. So those individuals, those, uh, those in Washington that expected everything comes out of Washington, not true. Our surveys indicate that the spending sequestration, only 25% of the businesses report modest impacts, 75% say no impact. Very few to none say significant impact. So again, federal spending sequestration is a non-event. Uh, supply managers are very positive about the economic future. They continue to buy, they continue to expand. And for those that are not familiar with our survey, these men and women, they're buyers and, and they are buying goods buying services for their companies. They're the canary in the coal mine. 
So if things are looking pretty good for them right now, things will look good for us later on, and I, I expect that to continue to happen. It's just not enough growth to put us back into the go-go days of 2006 and early 2007. But overall, growth, but at a slower rate. Gro growth at a slower rate, again, this is, the worst, uh, uh, this is the worst recovery on record since the Great Depression of the 1930s. We're just not coming out of it like we'd like to see, not come out of, coming out of it even like we saw in the 2001 recession. So this has been a pathetic, anemic recovery. But it is a recovery. We are continuing to see growth. The businesses that we survey are doing well. Those that are linked to agriculture are going to be a little bit weaker now because the agricultural sector is not going to be as strong for 2013 as it was for 2012.